Ooh, let's see what they pulled out of some of these canals. Major rivers all over the world are drying up, exposing artifacts. Henry is the, uh, my uh, buddy, uh, yelled at me, said, hey, Derek, I found some. Oh my goodness. Derek Demeter and his friend found this four foot long, 50 pound mammoth bone earlier this week. Most were revealed by falling water levels, this island in China and its Buddhist statues believed to be 600 years old. I'm worried, this local man said. I feel like the environment has just become quite bad. I think this is a warning to us. Sunken boats. World War II German warships have been exposed in the Danube River due to Europe's worst drought in years. There's about 10,000 kilograms of explosive devices here. We're not sure if they can explode, you can imagine the problems if they do. And human remains. The skeleton looked sort of human-like, only much bigger and a little stranger. Next thing you know, you have a cyclops. Be it strange life forms, massive surprises, or prehistoric remains, there's always something new waiting to meet the eyes just beneath the surface of mysterious waters. Let's see what the authorities found at the bottom of this 200-year-old canal that shocked the entire world. You must be wondering why all these fish are squeezed into this little field. Did the pond get overpopulated or is some fishy yeah. business going on? Look at them with their mouths wide open. They're waiting for something, right? Well, it's not weird. This is a tilapia fish farm in India. But it's crazy how they know it's, it's feeding time. <laughs> like they know, they. I don't know if they could smell it from afar or just the timing of he do it the same time every day maybe. Hungry fish are waiting for their food. Watch how they went crazy when the guy brought it. You might think that the fish might suffer from sun heat, but these fish only thrive in warmer water, somewhere between 83 to 87 degrees Fahrenheit. They're tough though. From brackish water to ponds and cages, these little guys can survive pretty much any environment. So, have you ever seen a fish farm like this? Or is this your first time? Submarine. A curious explorer stumbled upon a rusty old shell of a submarine on the remote island of Santolomo in Panama's Pearl Archipelago. He initially thought it to be a World War II relic, but the adventurer soon uncovered something much older. Turns out this submarine matched design blueprints dating back to 1902, created by a German inventor named Julius Kohl. There is a Julius H. Kohl, yeah. engineer for Broad Street, New York. 1860. The vessel, named Explorer, had been hiding in plain sight, submerged and forgotten. The intrigued discoverer embarked on a journey to unravel the mystery behind this century-old submarine, and the research revealed it could be the world's first successful submarine of its kind. I'm, well, surpri I'm surprised they weren't worried about explosives being on that. ...in pond. The clip posted a few years ago showed a bunch of people in special suits trying to rescue a beached whale that ended up in the city center pond in Madrid, Spain, and it seemed to be struggling to survive. It caught the stares of passers-by, looking in awe of the 15-meter-long behemoth and took photos of the unusual sight. With no natural disaster in sight, how was it washed up there? Well, nature isn't the only disaster these gentle giants face. Humans are also coming down hard on them. And this is what this entire scene was about. This extremely realistic sperm whale was an art installation by a Belgian artist intended to start a conversation about the environment, depicting two sides of the same coin, where human actions unintentionally cause disastrous effects and also our failing attempts to save the remarkable animals of our planet. Iraqi Palace This super old palace was recently discovered in Iraq that has been keeping stories for centuries. Standing tall for 4,000 to 7,000 years, in Kamani, the site was hiding underwater in the Tigris River. This ancient palace has more than 100 granite stones strategically placed in a circular pattern. People think it might have been a temple, a burial spot, or a cool trading hub. When the river's water decreased, there it was, the Kumani Palace, showing off its fired bricks and cuneiform tablets. Now, experts are busy translating them to unlock more of its ancient tales. Haztec Castle In Turkey, when a severe drought caused the water levels to lower, something strange was unveiled. An ancient castle, 
named the Hastek Castle, was found. Built along the Euphrates River, the castle has been underwater since 1974 because of a dam. It has secret rooms carved into the mountain, and a boat is needed to get there. There are also narrow pathways to allow sunlight and move around inside, and a long array of loopholes probably provided a way to look out for enemies in the water back in the day. It's like a time traveler from ancient days, and it gave us a peek into what life was like back then. You know what? This makes me think and, and wonder if they had to deal with global warming. See, the talks with global warming these days have been if the glaciers melt and start falling into the water, the water will rise. I wonder if they had to deal with global warming back then and that's what's caused the water levels to rise over places they could have lived, caves that they could have been staying in, which forced them to evacuate. So I'm, I'm thinking, I wonder they might have had to deal with global warming too. Secret Rooms Network I'm sure all of us wanted to have a secret room of our own. But what if I told you such secret rooms existed long before us? A bridge in the UK hides a secret world beneath it. Built between 1706 to 1722, the bridge was redesigned in the 1760s by a famous landscape architect, Capability Brown. Brown was creating his own kind of magic, designed artful, if you like, but looking artless. The architect created lakes on the estate, and some of these lakes flooded secret rooms under the bridge. There were 30 rooms, unknown for years, that were revealed when the water was drained for maintenance. The big mystery now is figuring out why these hidden chambers were built and what they were used for back in the day. Detoured Dolphin Residents of an Indian village were in for a surprise when a dolphin was found in a nearby canal. And it had got the attention of the locals, trying to get a glimpse of the magnificent animal. It's more common... Man, you think they're trying to get a glimpse? Or they hungry? Yeah, they might be trying to get some dolphin meat. <laughs> that might be what it is, bro. You thinking they lining up because, oh, we just happy to see it. That might be dinner for, for a few families. And then you think... For giant marine animals like dolphins, sharks, and whales to end up in rivers and canals. Sometimes it happens due to strong waves that wash them away from home, and other times they lose their way during their migration. And something like this might have happened with this marine mammal. Bigfoot Skull A few months back, an Indonesian fossil explorer uncovered something that might be the closest evidence of an ancient creature's existence. A massive humanoid skull hidden in a mysterious cave had an eerie resemblance to Bigfoot. Armed with a flashlight and a pickaxe, he pulled this colossal cranium with a broad, flat nose and deep eye sockets. The discovery shared on social media ignited a global discussion, where some saw it as a potential link between humans and an unknown hominid species, while others found a connection to Indonesian folklore, saying it could be the enigmatic Orang Padang a short being said to inhabit remote, mountainous forests on the island of Sumatra. Mythical being or not, it sure captivated explorers and researchers alike. River Debris Recently, France, in the preparations for hosting the Olympics 2024, faced a trashy situation, quite literally. The Seine River faced a garbage challenge, even with a crew working hard to clean up the mess. Each year, they retrieve an astonishing 360 tons of waste, from stolen safes to discarded motorbikes. The river became a dumping ground for all sorts of items. Despite the challenges, the team kept aiming for a river safe for aquatic life and the environment. Backyard Surprise On a bright summer day, this guy stumbled upon something unexpected in his backyard. This massive fish was chilling in his pool, just cruising around on the surface. How on earth did it end up there? Turns out it was a giant sturgeon, a prehistoric fish that must have taken a detour from the river and decided to have a pool day. They can get scary big, up to two... I'd rather have that than an alligator, so what you getting mad at? I mean, most people go in their backyards and with water that look like this and canals and stuff, and they find gators. I'd rather find this fish. To three meters, and species up to eight meters have also been observed. You can bet it gave the homeowner quite a scare on its day out. Shiva Lingus. 
In India's western Ghats, near the Shalama River, there are these cool carvings on big rocks called Shiva Lingus. But there's something really interesting about them. They only show up when the river flow recedes. It's like nature's hide and seek with ancient art. These monuments are of high religious importance in the region, and everyone gets excited whenever they show up. <sighs> Creepy doll. Two brothers went on a river treasure hunt when they stumbled upon a creepy mystery beneath the surface. As they explored, a strange and eerie doll captured their attention. That's awesome. That's they decided to pull out, and its mm -hmm. haunting features. You leave that in the water. Somebody threw that in the water on purpose. Leave that. Added an unexpected thrill to their lot of discoveries. The discovery left them intrigued about its origin. Yeah, that's cool. Does nobody but me watch movies? Huh? <laughs> what do you see people do after some doll is tormenting them and their family and unleash some curse and stuff? When they finally break the curse and everything, they throw it out in the river somewhere. Leave that alone. But there was no one with a satisfactory answer. So they continued their journey, eager to uncover more secrets hidden in the river's depths. Nandi statues. Now, let's travel back in time to ancient Masaru, where colossal Nandi statues stood tall, carved from soft, soft soapstone in the 16th or 17th century. Recently, when a woman was working on her farm, she came across these centuries old Nandi statues, each carved from a single rock. Even though incomplete, these statues showcase exquisite craftsmanship, leaving archaeologists and historians intrigued. Many folks speculated that these statues were destined for an ancient temple, and their spiritual importance in the region made locals thrilled to discover them on their ground. Monster Shark While fishing, everyone wants to score a big catch, but I don't think getting a giant bull shark would be on anyone's list. Nope. Meet this brave guy on a nighttime fishing trip. He got a huge bull shark hooked on his line. It was estimated to be about eight feet long and weighed 300 pounds. Oh, she's done, dude. There she is! Whoa! Watch out, boy! Watch out! Oh! oh, dude, that's 400 pounds, bro. And the most surprising thing was that it was caught in a river. Quite unusual for them, as they normally live in coastal waters. The guys decided not to keep it and let it go back into the water. There she goes. There she goes. And it was not an isolated incident. Residents of Tampa, Florida were shocked when fishermen caught four bull sharks from the Hillsboro River. Imagine going for a casual fishing day in the neighborhood river and catching bull sharks. Not the best idea for outdoor activity. Lake Apupaca Gators. This scene from Lake Apupaca. Is that Lake Apopka down in Florida? He's killing me when he said that. <laughs> or uh, he might be saying it right. No, it's somewhere else. Might look like a bunch of tiny islands has emerged the? in the water, but the reality is far more terrifying. Those are gators. These little dark things are alligators having a lakeside hangout. What the? The local bike shop owner captured the jaw-dropping sight while cycling near the lake. The video went viral and drew the attention of curious visitors who wanted to witness the gator extravaganza in person. Locals called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, questioning why so many gators were in one pond, but the answers are still pending. What? While Lake Acupaco's gator party went down full swing, thanks to strict rules against hunting them. Human Jawbone Back in 2018, a famous YouTuber, Nicola White, who records her mudlarking expeditions, posted a clip that astounded everyone. While searching for new stuff near the River Thames, she found a jawbone that looked similar to a human one. As if the jawbone itself wasn't spooky enough, there was a tooth intact in there as well. She handed it over to the experts, and radiocarbon dating revealed the person's demise between the late 1600s and 1940. The discovery also unveiled the region's dark past, as it was once home to prison hulk ships, with convicts buried anonymously along the riverbanks. Although the origin of the jawbone remained elusive, it's scary to think how many remains could be buried right under the surface. 
octopus in fresh water. Amazing video from Gig Harbor captures what experts say is a rare and remarkable find. Next on the list is this clip from Gig Harbor, where a full-grown octopus was caught swimming in a creek. The waterway had a mix of fresh and salt water. It also showed off its color-changing trick, going from grayish pale to orange in a matter of seconds. Octopuses are usually pretty secretive, so seeing one swim casually was pretty unusual. The experts at Harbor Wild Watch said that the octopus was at the end of its life journey. The last time something like this happened was way back in 2014, although how it ended up there remained a question. It's pretty rare to see full-grown octopus at any stage in their life unless you're a scuba diver and you know where to look for them. They are reclusive, they are secretive, and so to come across one at any stage of his life is pretty remarkable. Beluga Whale French rescue services and environmental experts were left scratching their heads when they found a humongous situation at their hands. Back in 2022, a giant beluga whale found its way into the Seine River. The experts scrambled to assess its health as the mammal was more suitable in the Arctic waters. Accidentally separated from its pod during the normal migration route, it needed to get back into the ocean quickly. The French rescuers arranged the whale's transportation to the ocean, but during the journey they realized that it wouldn't survive long due to health deterioration. So to end its suffering, they unfortunately had to euthanize it. It seems that the Seine River has an attraction for these marine giants. Here's another similar incident, but this time, an orca had veered off into the river. It gathered a lot of locals trying to get a peek at the mammal. The orca was said to be ill and in a life-threatening condition, so they decided to let nature take its course. Experts believe that such incidents are caused by human intervention in their habitats. Bigfoot Footprint basically saying, leave it to us to ruin things like we always do. A couple of months back, Russell A. Quartz, part of the Expedition Bigfoot team on Travel Channel, stumbled upon giant human-like footprints, which sparked excitement about a possible Bigfoot discovery. Look at the size of that. That's a really big print. Equipped with high-tech tools, the team scans the footprints for DNA to find concrete proof. They measured the footprint to be about 16 feet long. They decided to focus on the area and were determined to unravel the mystery of Bigfoot's existence. What do you think of these footprints? Were they left by a Bigfoot or some other bipedal? Forest Graveyard Ever heard of a forest lost in time? Well, let me show you an ancient woodland known as the Tons of Sand got lost to the sea at the end of the last ice age and was recently revealed along the northeast coast of England in 2018. Hidden beneath the sea's embrace for millennia, the once thriving forest now shows secrets from 10,000 years ago. It happened when strong natural conditions decided to play their hand, stripping away tons of sand from Red Car Beach, leaving behind a trail of intrigue. The forest had a plethora of animals at its peak, but now it's become just a shadow of what it had been. Today, this unique site brings dozens of visitors wanting to take a peek. LA River In August 2023, a strong weather disaster left quite a mess in its wake, turning the LA River into a floating trash showcase. At the Long Beach Harbor Marina, the chaos unleashed, breaking chains that held docks in place, causing them to tilt and sway in the unruly water. But that wasn't the end of it. In the LA River, a trash boom was hard at work collecting tons of trash, coolers, shoes, a soccer ball, and loads of plastic, all washed down due to raised water levels. It was like a river treasure hunt, but instead of gold, you find discarded stuff. Finally, a crew armed with a bucket and crane was set on a mission to scoop up the junk. Yeah, now I see why they point at humans for destroying marine life and other animals and stuff like that, man. Look at all that trash, bro. That's crazy to see. Mammoth Bone Henry Sadler, a middle school science teacher, marked history after unearthing remains from the Triassic period. In 2021, while diving in a Florida river, he discovered a giant humerus bone that turned out to be a part of a Colombian mammoth from the Ice Age. Can I find something this amazing on my dive? Right. 
this massive bone now serves as an exciting teaching tool. These findings not only deepen our understanding of ancient life, but also connect us to a world that predates our own. Swamp Rats Invasion In Cross Baker Park, a creepy sight unfolded as huge rodents got out of control. These weren't your regular rats, growing into the size of small dogs. They were the swamp rats, also known as Nutria. With its weird, long, glowing orange teeth and long, thick tail, it was truly scary. These supersized rats were eating a huge three pounds of food every day. But who was giving them food? Well, people were accidentally feeding them snacks put out for other animals. Can you imagine going out for a walk in the park and coming across one of these? I would run for my life, that's for sure. And the park seemed to be in trouble with plants disappearing and the whole place turning into a nightmare. So do not feed swamp rats, that simple. Giant Squid Last year in Japan, a massive three meter giant squid got the attention of locals after it was found swimming in the shallow waters. The cephalopod was remarkable in its giant body and eight tentacles glory. Unfortunately, the excitement was short-lived as the colossal animal passed away soon after the discovery. These creatures are known to come ashore at the last stages of their lives. But it didn't end here for this one. A local aquarium planned to showcase this extraordinary find during Japan's Golden Week holidays. Monster Lookalike Looking out your window, you would expect to see some serene beauty. Not witness a Loch Ness Monster Lookalike! Something like this happened when this guy spotted something bizarre in the Gloucester Canal. A long neck was poking out of the water. It seemed like a creature straight out of a mystery novel. Duh. The sighting was anything but ordinary, so keep your camera ready. Who knows what surprises pop up from your window? Hiram Reservoir About two years ago, Hiram Reservoir turned into a retro car graveyard as low water levels revealed over a dozen cars from the 1950s along the shore. Back in the 50s, that seemed like a mob dumping site right there is what that seemed like. These folks deliberately placed these cars to toughen up the shoreline. It was like a vintage solution to a beachside problem. The state park manager showed that the cars were parked there to stop the bank from getting wobbly. Removing the cars now might make the bank go crazy and cause trouble for the swanky new houses nearby. They did a similar car cleanup along the Blacksmith Fork River in 2013 but it cost a whopping $10 million. Today, no one's likely to use this quirky method again. Ancient Weapons Magnet fishing is becoming a trend. With a strong magnet thrown into the unknown depths of water, the possibilities of finding something new are endless. And this magnet fisherman from the UK seemed to have hit the jackpot with one epic pull. Six World War II machine guns! While using his equipment in a small canal, he pulled out some random stuff followed by six complete machine guns. He I ain't gonna lie, magnet, magnet fishing seems intriguing, bro. That, I, that's something I could see myself going out and doing. Mine is coming across the explosive devices because the only hesitancy I have is I've seen people pull up actual explosives, you know? What I mean? So that's, the, and they still be like live or active or whatever. So that's the only hesitancy. But other than that, imagine the type of stuff you could pull up out of there. Imagine what you could find. Buzzed with excitement, showing off his remarkable find. The fishermen plan to donate the historic hall, six complete machine guns and about 30 magazines to a museum wow. for all to see. Hand grenade. A see? few years ago, a woman was strolling see? along the Thames foreshore and she stumbled upon a World War II hand grenade. They called the police, who quickly arrived and assessed the situation. After realizing the importance of the find, the police summoned the ordnance squad and temporarily closed the River Thames and decided to set it off, and the squad safely detonated the grenade, allowing the woman to capture the spectacle. Such old weapons need to be set off to make sure they don't accidentally go off on their own. Bombay Beach Town in the middle of the California desert lie the remains of a once bustling town called the Bombay Beach Town. Back in the late 1950s and 60s, it was the place to be, a vacation spot by the Sultan Sea. But 
then things went downhill big time. During the 1970s, the environment deteriorated and the water levels rose, causing people to flee the town. Then as the 80s rolled around, the waters got drained, bringing this ghost town to light. Fast forward to today, visitors are creeping back, drawn to its post-apocalyptic charm. But fair warning, it's still pretty smelly. Drained Pond The Canada Pond is held back by a dam that was held together since the 1800s. But a few years ago, locals got worried that the dam might give in. So the authorities decided on an improvement plan. As they started fixing things, the water level dropped. And voila, three cars popped up, joined by a bunch of tires. Workers fixing Augusta Canal were in for a surprise when two old cars hidden underwater turned up during repairs. The canal was drained and a team worked hard to pull them out. Two upside down cars covered in mud were retrieved near Eve Street Bridge. Investigation revealed that they might be from the 80s or 90s. One still had its license plate. Linked to the robbery, murder, or something like that, you know? <laughs> they might, hey, it might help them close a case that's been open for I don't know how many decades now, man. Like, they literally, they really need to start going in a lot of these ponds just to make sure and see there's no vehicles, no people, no weapons, no murder weapons, no things like that, man. I'm telling you, you will find a lot of stuff. Shoot, that's what these people who are magnet fishing are doing. Some of them are actually solving cases. The news spread on social media, drawing curious onlookers, wanting to take a look themselves. Canal Trapdoor In Manchester, a bizarre video featuring the discovery of a hidden trapdoor in Rochdale trapdoor. Canal became an online sensation. With the Canal and River Trust granting permission, the explorers went on a journey to unveil this forgotten secret, dormant for over two centuries. Measuring just a foot wide, the trapdoor had an original chain and wooden relic dating back to the 17 or 1800s. It lowered the water level, revealing the trapdoor's resilience against the pressure. There was also an arrow carved in the stone to pinpoint its location. Surprisingly, this historical mechanism was designed to release water into the river tip, serving as a means to regulate the canal's water levels. The internet marveled at this rediscovered engineering piece. Of course we would. I've never seen anything like that or even thought of anything like that. A canal having a trap door in it so you can let down the water level. Never have I ever heard of anything like that. Cool, super dope, you know what I mean? But never would have thought of anything like that, being at the bottom of a canal. Bonzo Tag During a mudlarking expedition along the Thames in London, a seemingly insignificant discovery was made. A round dog tag concealed within the mud. As the woman who discovered the tag carefully cleaned it, the name Bonzo Tabler emerged with an address. I can see some writing, but can't make it out altogether, so I'll have to, to give it a clean, a careful clean to see what it says. This unearthed a touching history. Bonzo, who was a beloved pet during the 1940s, when the name Bonzo gained popularity, inspired by a 1922 cartoon dog. And so I thought, okay, it's got to be a dog tag, but I didn't think I'd be lucky enough. The woman decided to dig deep and find out his history, and things took a somber turn, revealing that Bonzo, the furried companion, faced a tragic fate during World War II. Confronted with challenges like the lack of pet rations and shelter restrictions, the family made the heart-wrenching decision to give up Bonzo, bearing him further suffering amid wartime adversity. This discovery of Bonzo's dog tag showed the history of pets and their owners during the suffering times of World War II. Farm Wagon Exposed waterbeds can be home to all kinds of things, as we have seen before, but no one expected to find an ancient vehicle buried under the surface. During a historic drought in 2015, the Marion County deputy discovered a wagon's wheels sticking out from the exposed lake bed. The locals witnessed the emergence of an old-fashioned wagon from the mud as water levels in the reservoir dropped. The wagon, presumed to be horse-drawn, provided a unique glimpse into the past, showing an unexpected piece of history concealed beneath the water for years. Longyou Caves 
in Zhejiang, China, an ancient landscape was uncovered that no one was aware of. The Long Yu Caves were discovered back in 1992, a series of large man-made caves with intricate details. It's believed that these mysterious caves were created during the Qin Dynasty. The caves boast massive, carefully carved chambers with pillars, bridges, and even rooms with ceilings adorned with patterns. Pillars, the walls, almost as if to give it a, a very uniform fill. But the purpose behind their construction has remained unclear, and its mystery has made it a tourist attraction that gathers ancient artifact lovers from all over the world. Now it's time for today's open discussion. This picture shows the scenes from the canal cleaning project that went down in France. In 2016, French authorities undertook a significant cleaning project for the 200-year-old canal Saint Martin in Paris, a popular hangout with it. Why they didn't just use the trap door? That's all I can think about now. Scenic cafes and perfect ambience. The dredging process carried out approximately every 10 to 15 years involved draining 90,000 cubic meters of water along with the inhabiting fish into the nearby river and took three months to complete. As the canal's depths were exposed, a ton of discarded items emerged, ranging from wine bottles and old office chairs to bicycles, all coated in the canal's thick brown sludge. This spectacle drew curious bystanders, revealing the canal's less glamorous side. The cleaning project showed how people need to be more careful of how they treat the urban water bodies.